Hello and uh, welcome candidates. Thank you for choosing to study with us. In our today's session, we continue with the subject leadership and management. We have been uh, studying the theories of, uh, of change, also known as the change management models. At the beginning, I mentioned that uh, we're going to discuss five of them. So far, we have done two. That is Kotler's change management theory. The second one is uh, McKinsey's 7S change management theory. In our today's session, I want us to discuss the third one, which is known as ADCAR. Number three, ADCAR. ADCAR. Now, ADCAR is an acronym or a mnemonic, uh, and uh, we will be discussing what this uh, let us stands for in this uh, lesson, ADCAR, Change Management Model. Now, candidates, the ADCAR, Change Management Model, is a great solution for companies that are trying to look at both the business and the people dimensions of change. It focuses on the identification and evaluation of reasons why change is working or why change is not working, and also why desired results are not being obtained. So the ADCAR uh, model can be used by change managers to uh, find out various gaps in the process so that um, uh, effective training can be offered to employees. So what does A stand for? A stand for. A, ad car, A. Now this A stands for awareness, 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 all right? Awareness, awareness. A stands for awareness. And this is awareness of the need for change. Awareness, um, of need for change. Awareness of need for change. Now, candidates' awareness represents a person's understanding of the nature of the change, why the change is being made, and the risk of not changing. It also includes information about the internal and the external drivers that um, uh, created the need for change as well as what is in it for me. So it's important, candidates, that uh, the, all the parties that will be involved in the process of uh, implementing change are made aware of the need for change. Then the second uh, point here is D. D, you can guess, candidates, stands for desire. 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 All right? This is just to bring, it means to bring and be part of the change. Desire, the purpose of desire is to bring and be part of the change. Desire. This is the desire to support, to support and participate in the change process. Desire to do what? To participate and to support the change process. Now, this represents the willingness to support and engage in change. And candidates, desire is ultimately about personal choice that is influenced by the nature of the change and by an individual's personal situation as well as uh, intrinsic motivators that are unique to each person. So the Adhikar's, um, Adhikar change management model 
desire is a very important factor. When initiating change is important for the uh, leaders of uh, uh, change to ensure that all the employees have the desire to support and to participate in the change process. Then letter K here stands for knowledge. K stands for knowledge. Knowledge. And this is just a knowledge of how to change. Knowledge of how to change. Knowledge of how to change. And candidate's knowledge represents the information, the training, and education that is necessary on how to change. It includes information about behaviors, information about the processes, information about the tools, the systems, the skills, the job roles, the techniques that are needed to implement change. Ad so here A stands for ability. 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 This is the ability to implement required skills and behavior. Ability to implement. Implement. Ability to do what? To implement. Now, candidates' ability represents uh, the realization or, I can say, the execution of the change. Ability is the it is the turning knowledge into action. And it's achieved when a person or a group has the demonstrated uh, capability to implement the change at the required performance levels. All right? To implement. All right? To implement. Ability to implement. A stands for ability to implement. Then the last one here R stands for reinforcement. 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 And this is the reinforcement to sustain the change. Reinforcement to do what? To sustain, sustain change. Reinforcement to sustain change. Now, Candidates, re 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 reinforcement represents the, uh, those internal and external uh, factors that sustain change. The external reinforcement could include uh, recognition, it can include uh, rewards, it can include celebrations that are tied to the realization of change. Internal reinforcements, on the other hand, could be a person's internal satisfaction with his or her achievement, uh, achievements or other benefits derived from the change on a personal level. So these are the factors in the ADCAR's change management theory. ADCAR's theory of change management. It's an acronym or a mnemonic that stands uh, A stands for awareness, D stands for desire, awareness, desire, knowledge, ability, and reinforcement. I hope uh, that one is clear, candidates. It's a simple change management model. And uh, with that, we'll come to the end of our today's lesson. I want to give you one question an assignment. Discuss the ADCAR change management theory. Thank you for choosing to study with us. Uh, we've done the third theory of change. Um, we've, uh, we'll be doing the fourth one, which is the 
Kubler stock cross change management theory. Then lastly, we will study the Lewin's change management theory. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank <music> you.